David Umakan, the manager of the Ghana Amazon Warriors, the successful Ghana Amazon Warriors at that. They've now played in six matches. They're the first team to get into the playoffs. Uh, Umar, tell me what has been the key, what has been the difference this season? And because of obviously this is the best ever start by any team in CPL history. Yes, well obviously, you know, we are built on organization and having our guys focus on game by game. It's not a, it's a process. You know, so it's not something that we are overly excited about because at the end of the day, our aim is to win the tournament. You know, but the, the good start have, have obviously um, given the guys that momentum and the guys are very confident about themselves. Um, you know, we have a good system set up. In, there's a good coaching staff led by Yuan Bota, good captain. Sharp Malik has um, shown his experience. You know, he's very professional, very organized. He's a good team person also, and that's what has been one of our strengths actually. You know, the gelling of the team, guys supporting one another, being there for one another, um, the professionalism, you know, being able to understand their rules and responsibilities on the team, and all those little things, you know, from outside of the playing field is what adds up to the success on the playing field. Well, there are no poster boys on this Warriors team yet. They <laughs> have been very dominant in, at the CPL this year. Well, it's all about, you know, the, there is obvious talent, you know. Um, we have recognized, for example, when we did the draft, that, you know, there's tremendous amount of young, talented cricketers in Guyana. And we wanted to give them the opportunity to showcase their skills at the biggest party in sport. You know, CPL also has a wide um, television audience throughout the world. And young Romario Shepard has proven that point, you know, he has gone on, on, um, on the stage. He has performed excellently so far. Um, young um, Hetemaya is there, Kimo Paul. You know, we have on the sidelines, Ch no, not on the sidelines, we have Chandler Paul Himraj. who is opening the battle for the first time in CPL for Guyana. Last year he played for St. Lucia Zooks. This year he's given the opportunity to represent his native land, Guyana. And he has proven his work. You know, he has been giving us good starts at the top. Young Brandon King from Jamaica. When we picked him, a lot of people questioned, you know, his selection. But we know the type of player he is. We know he's very, very capable of hitting the ball out of the ground. He has done that on many occasions. Those of you who in some kids would have seen a massive six went straight out of the ground. So we have that um, caliber of players. Uh, um, and then in the middle, you have Shah Malik, that stabilizing effect in the middle. And plus you have some power hitters, Shafin Wakafad from Guyana, a big, powerful um, guy. He hits the ball um, tremendously hard. And then Nicholas Puron, who has really uh, matured and come into you know the team as he's now one of the, the leaders of the team you know he's been around uh, motivating the guys you know talking to the guys and, and all those things you know that, that is what what has led our success to be well omar uh, i must ask you this question on mm -hmm. current form the tkr the defending champions um they are also playing good cricket of course, yeah. um do you all fear the tkr well not um not a matter of fear um you know it's a matter of us being in the right state of mind you know mentally prepared for the occasion when we got to play them, when we have to play them. And again, it's all about the guys understanding, you know, there's nothing to be feared about, nothing to be fearful about, you know. We go out there and play fearless cricket, play the same type of cricket we are playing right now, we play smart cricket most importantly, and being able to execute your plans, being able to go out there and do what you do best, you know. And we have, you know, um, from all indications, the team, we have a, a very well balanced team, you know, the, all departments are covered. We have, you know, the batting has been clicking. We have um, quality spin bowlers, and that I think is going to be the difference this year for us. You know, in terms of the quality of our bowling, you know, I'm young. Uh, we have brought in a young ex-winner from Afghanistan called Kai Samad, you know, and he is uh, um, uh, a very good talent, you know, um, and of course he had the experience in Rantai, who, you know, of course with him, he's always in the game. He's excited. He's you know, and always taking wickets. And we have, um, you know, we don't have um, clear fast bowlers, but in this type of cricket, as you know. If you have bowlers who could, um, you know, vary the, the ball, bowl um, slower balls, and, um, you know, we have those type of Romario Shepard, Kimo Paul, Odin Smith has come into the, to our team, he's the emerging West Indies player, you know, and he's doing well also. So we have a good balance, you know, and we are one of the teams who don't um, be afraid to, to probably um, not play international players. Last game we, we had two international players on the bench, which is a signal or, or indication of the bench strength we have. <music>
Regional Public Relations uh, Manager for Sanders Resort. And we're at Sanders, and these days he's now a, a commentator at the CPL as well. And, um, you know, so now you, you're in the hospitality industry, and uh, we hear all this talk about, um, you know, the advent of the CPL. We know that it's something that the Caribbean people love. Um, they can't seem to do without it. You know, it's the biggest party in sport. We all know that. Uh, how has it impacted, though, uh, the business sector here specifically? in St. Lucia. Well, I think uh, CPL, and let me say good evening, uh, good day to all your viewers. I think CPL has really been a phenomenon in terms of um, exciting people once more. I think it's brought a lot of value and it has really grown tremendously uh, since it started. You know. um, I don't think, I was telling someone recently, uh, I, there are very few sporting events of any kind, um, even football, uh, tennis, whatever you may, that excites and brings people out the way I think CPL has been able to do and as a result of that a lot of people travel um, the hotels are obviously booked uh, with teams coming in with supporters coming in you find a lot of people traveling throughout the region uh, to support the teams and that just uh, gives a boost to the economic activity particularly uh, in many of the islands where the hospitality industry you know, is a key uh, pillar of the economy and uh, just to move away a bit from the CPL, uh, you've been to the US Open on many occasions as a T20 tournament in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Um, your impressions as to whether uh, you know, it adds to the economy during that period, that Christmas period, when you have about 20 teams coming in? Yeah, well, I mean, look, let me commend uh, the organizers of uh, the, uh, the uh, tournament uh, out there in Miami. I think they've really opened the door uh, to North America being much more recognized uh, in terms of cricket. They've opened the door to allowing uh, players from the U.S. to get exposure and therefore get opportunities. Uh, we know Ali Khan, for instance, get opportunities to play uh, outside of the uh, U.S. as well. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, is similar in a similar way to the CPL. Uh, brings tremendous value. You have um, a number of teams who travel uh, to uh, Broward County travel to Fort Lauderdale every year uh, to participate <coughs> excuse me uh, in the tournament across there and similarly uh, it generates uh, revenue for travel it generates revenue in terms of uh, stay over and then people spend money obviously so uh, that is definitely um, a key um, key on the calendar out there you know. Well, we continue our coverage here in uh, St. Lucia for the CPL 2019 and we want to urge you uh, that after the CPL, the next big tournament will be the US Open that uh, takes place from the 18th to the 22nd of December.